Hey, good morning. So uh, I'm back at it today. I've got uh, I have, I've gotten uh, energized, and I'm going to try to actually finish this uh, parking area, driving area, entry, whatever you want to call it, to the garage. Um, I'm going to try it myself. I was going to have my pro come in and do it, but I, you know, I've got the tractor. I, you know, I think I can do it. So I'm going to give it a try and uh, bring you along with me today. Um, basically, you saw last week I started, you know, I guess kind of a practice run, if you will, to see if it would work out and I could do it okay. But um, I brought a bunch of dirt up here and started to bring it up a little bit. Um, I don't have a tamper or, or you know, or, or roller. I don't have anything really that to help flatten it down well. So I'm going to do my best um, just to kind of keep going back and forth with the, with the weight of the tractor. Um, I think it's about, you know, it's about 4,000 pounds, plus I'm going to throw um, the box blade on the back of it and that'll add probably another 500. So anyway, I'm going to uh, attack this and uh, I brought some more dirt up uh, during the week so <clears throat> I'd be ready for this. And uh, basically what I'm doing, uh, it, you know, it's hard, probably hard to see on the camera, but uh, it, it, the driveway slopes this way and of course down. Um, and I don't want that to be too much steeper, um, but I do need to bring this up a little bit because it, it it's a little too steep. Um, so I'm going to probably start somewhere around this first door and gradually start bringing the ground up. Probably about uh, four to six inches on that side, maybe a little bit more, um, eight inches on this side at the most. Uh, and then just past the, the edge of the garage, I'll end up uh, gradually tapering this off so that it's going down uh probably 10 to 12 feet just so it's kind of a hopefully as gradual as i can make it um right now there's number three rock underneath here you might be able to see some of it working its way up um and this road this drive was pretty well established been here i think three or four years um and then of course it had trucks and everything coming across it during construction so uh it's solid but uh that's that's the thing i'm most worried about is uh, this is clay so it packs pretty well but I'm going to probably have to do it in layers, um, which means I'll probably do about two inches and then I'll run back and forth on the tractor. Maybe if I get tired of doing that, I'll grab the truck and do it. But um, those are the heaviest things I've got that I can use um, to try to pack it down. And then we'll add a couple more inches of, of dirt on top of that, um, maybe, maybe a little more than two. But I think if I don't pack it down in between, it just won't, you know, it'll just sink. It'll end up being like this, where the stuff just, you know, sinks whereas up here um i got it to the point where i you know i packed it and then i scraped it and it's it's looks fairly solid so i'm gonna try that i'm no pro i'm a regular guy figuring this stuff out but my neighbor is nice nice enough to let me borrow his box blade so i'll be able to smooth a lot of this stuff out that was kind of i just couldn't get with the uh you know the bucket the bucket of the tractor sticks out so far that any time the tractor tilts, everything's exaggerated on that. Whereas the box blade in the back, you can adjust it side to side a little bit. Um, and you can get it hopefully a little more level. So hopefully that works. That's the plan. Um, hang with me here and we'll see if the plan works. And hopefully by the end of this video, oh, also, also got a couple big loads of uh, uh, 57 uh, crushed stone, like they kind of put around around the garage some more of that plus I have some from the last pile so hopefully that'll be enough to put uh, you know uh, a couple of inches or at least an inch and a half somewhere around there uh, good coating over the top and then um, that'll probably soak in a little bit and I'll have to put more down later but um, that stuff's not too expensive and um, the dirt is free um, I've got the tractor and uh, you know I want to have fun doing it. So we'll see, you know, there's a sense of accomplishment when you complete some, one of these things. Uh, if I don't and it's, it's messy and it's washing away, uh, or I'm sinking into it when I drive, well then I'll, I'll call my pro out here and we'll, we'll get it done right. So, uh, but, uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. Welcome to TWC projects and, uh, let's get started with this project.
All right, so uh, considering I've never used a, a bucket loader before a few weeks ago, you saw me use it for the first time on this tractor, and I've never used a box blade before either, um, so you're seeing me hook that up and use it for the first time. In fact, I don't think the only thing I've ever run on the back of a tractor was a bush hog, a bush hogger, and it was uh, it was already set up for me. I just had to get on it, and it was already you know set to the right height. I mean, the tricky thing with this is, you know, it is uh, you got to kind of even it out a little bit because you know everything echoes. Like I said, I said at the beginning of this one, the bucket sticks out so far that any tip in the tractor ex is exaggerated, right, way down. So you know, the tractor trips an inch, the the bucket goes up four inches. So it's um. It's always tricky to kind of work on even like this, but I'm learning and uh, I'll keep at it. So I think it's looking pretty good. Um, you know, you have to kind of keep walking around different angles to see it. <clears throat> I guess if I were a pro, I would have laid out stakes, but I'm going to try to eyeball this for the most part because I don't really, you know, the whole thing is supposed to taper that way and this way. Um, so I'm kind of bringing down this pile that we had here of surplus um, that's been packing down pretty well, moving out here and I'll keep doing that. And so I'll get this nice and, and leveled out here, um, but I've, I've been trying to get that to where I think I want it to be, and then I'll start packing this and, and spreading it around a little bit more evenly. So, anyway, um, still loving the tractor. Um, of course, it's new, but, uh, you know, I had to learn. I didn't know either about, I kind of could figure out pretty quickly how to adjust, but, but I didn't realize I needed to pull this pin out to get this guy over far enough to get get it onto the... Uh, uh, on the implement uh, box blade in this case, which is it's pretty heavy. I mean, I tried to <laughs> I tried to muscle it around a little bit, um, and it's got to be it's got to be four, 500 plus pounds. So um, anyway, it, you want all that stuff hooked up correctly, of course, but it's working great. Um, the other thing um, that you know I'm learning, which I've got to keep adjusting. So this is my lever. Uh, I probably should have captured that in some of the video uh, up and down to control the rear blade, but how quickly it descends or ascends, I can't remember which it is, but um, you dial in from here. So right now I've got it set fairly fast, which means probably when I make a minor change, it, the whole thing jumps. So um, it seems a little sensitive, but that's probably just me. I've got to learn how to do that. I think that's the whole point of that dial is to, to set the sensitivity the way you want it. So anyway, uh, but overall going great. I'm really happy with the progress so far. And uh, let's get back to... Uh, playing on the tractor and kind of building the driveway here or building a parking area and uh, it'll be really exciting when I get to start putting the stone down so glad you're with me um, hope you're enjoying it I don't know if you're learning anything but you're watching me learn that's for sure so um, maybe that's good enough let's get back to it thanks <laughs> All right, so uh, I've finished up the grading. Um, for the most part, I'm probably gonna try to uh, touch up a few holes, just kind of look around, um, but I didn't record all of it. It's just a lot of the same, um, but it turned out really well. Super happy with it. Um, I don't know if you can see, you know, there's still a few little dips and stuff that I'll go around with a shovel and um, fill in a few more I want to even out a couple little things but it's just about ready for stone so uh, uh, I'm gonna finish patching up some of those holes and then get the tractor and you know the other day when I was doing the <laughs> doing around the pipe around the, the uh, drainage I wasn't very excited about putting down that stone um, worked out really well actually I don't know why I, I just wasn't I wasn't excited about it but I am excited about this because this is gonna be significant progress I love seeing uh, something that's been in my head finally um, be uh, completed and so that I can enjoy it and use it. Uh, very much needed part towards getting the garage um, in, in the end, end stages here. And uh, it was just kind of a mess for a long time sitting there with a pile of dirt and so forth. So we'll get that done. And um, so let's get back to it. Just wanted to show you where we were.
All right, so uh, got as far as I could. I ran out of stone, um, but it's looking really good. I probably could have used, um, yeah, actually probably two more loads, but at least one would have given me this slim coat that I put on here, but it's, um, it's looking really good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, I've got, uh, like I said, I could easily put one more here and then two would have thickened this up a little bit. Um, but it's turned out really well. Uh, looks, I can't even really remember what it looked like before. I'll have to go back and look at the pictures in the original video. But basically I built this up like I said I would. Um, and you can see it's all got the slope coming off um, to uh, shed the water properly. And uh, it's looking really good. Like easy, you know, I'll, once I get some more, I'll, I'll get up a little bit closer um, to the lip of the, of the uh, foundation of the garage, but um, I'm really happy with it, really happy with it. Um, a lot of work. I think I have uh, probably 18, 19 hours on the tractor now. Uh, just a lot of going back and forth, trying to pack it down. Uh, there's a few places, and, I, and I'll put some, uh, some big, uh, I'll cut up some of that wood that I don't really want, like some of that pine maybe, I'm not sure, uh, or something. I'll find some junk wood and cut it into like six by sixes and um, make a little bit of a parking border here so people don't accidentally back off the edge if they, you know they're, they're not paying attention and they come out here um, but um, gives me you know probably three more parking spots here if I want them plus you know easy in and out of the garage and um, so need to do that and then I'll at some point I'll go through and kind of um, rip up the whole driveway a little bit, uh, scrape it up a little bit and put down, add some more fresh stone to the rest of the driveway. But I'm um, super excited. So I'm going to call that a wrap. That's um, TWC project. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I, you know, it's a learning. I didn't really know what I was doing. So uh, I kind of had a, a general sense and I watched, um, you know, Mike on, uh, outdoors with the Morgans, you know, he, I watch him, he just like, he puts a perfect layer down of stone, uh, that little BX that he uses and, and just, uh, he, you know, he's obviously been doing it for a long time. He's very good. Um, so I tried to do, do that. I wasn't quite as good for sure, but um, uh, it worked out real well though. And I got evened out pretty well, walked around and, you know, um, I probably still walk around a little bit more just to see if there's any uneven spots or whatever. But, uh, but uh, overall just, so nice it dresses up it changes the whole look of i mean this whole area down here just looked like it was a it well it looked like a construction site it didn't look very good it had uh just that big pile of mess that was over here and uh, and everything was all uneven and a mess so nice and smooth now almost like a parking lot and uh so uh anyway thanks for joining me thanks for uh, uh subscribing if you've already done that uh if you haven't please do and um thumbs up if you like the videos, uh, share with your friends. So um, thank you so much for watching and uh, going along this journey with me as I learn new things and uh, keep working on all the projects I've got going on. And uh, it's exciting. And you know, eventually I'm gonna get to the point where I'm doing more, a little bit more building, uh, but I've had to try to get this whole place together so that I could, could use it for those purposes. And uh, anyway, so um, until next week, you have a great week and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bueno.